gang, it's Paul with Stepback. Welcome back to our channel. A couple of weeks ago, Jordan and I were at the same job site where we built this 30-foot scaffolding and this plywood bridge over this 30-foot drop right here just so our AC guys could have access into the attic. System's working great, but before we tear the scaffold down, we gotta fix the gable into this house. And we're gonna do it with broken wood? Hey gang, it's good to see you. Where have we been? Well, Jordan and I got called out to an emergency project over the weekend, and that's why we couldn't post for a few days. What was that emergency project? This house was built up off the ground, very similar to this one, and the floor joists were completely rotten in one of the bathrooms. It got so bad, they couldn't even use that bathroom. And their elderly father had to walk down a hallway where the floor looked like a roller coaster. The flooring system had failed underneath, and really the only thing holding it together was the oak strip flooring on top. We didn't want him going to that back bathroom. It's falling through the house anyway. So we wanted to make a nice safe bathroom he could use right off of the hallway where the floor isn't rotten yet. So we got to the job site, we ripped out all the flooring and the joists, like I said, completely powder. The good thing is the sills, what the joists sit on, old sills, six by six, treated in creosote. I can still smell it on some of my tools. We put in new framing, treated framing, a new treated plywood subfloor, got our laser out, put in a new shower receptor in place of the bathtub, made it perfectly oh, nice. level. The owners bought a plastic surround, we put that up with new plumbing, set a new toilet, put in baseboard, caulked it, it's ready for paint, and it is ready for them to use. I hope they're using it right now. And when we left that day, we had a real feeling of satisfaction knowing that our old friend, that elderly gentleman I was telling you about, could have a safe bathroom to use and a shower in. And we're really sorry we couldn't get more video of that project. It was all hands on deck. Not only my hands, but Jordan's hands as well. When his hands are on the camera, he can't help me. And I really needed him to get that done in three days. We went from dirt floors to running water and I appreciate Jordan's help on that so much. We wanted to show you more of that, and that's what the brother's house was supposed to be as far as repairing rotten floors in a house. And on that project, a lot of you are asking about it. They've decided to tear that house down and to rebuild. And we're gonna show you footage of the teardown as soon as that happens. But enough about where we've been. Where do we need to go? Up on that scaffolding to show you our game plan. So what's our game plan? We had so many great comments from all our viewers on how to do this. Who knew that you could buy a custom gable end made of metal with a door already in it? I sure didn't. But in the end, the owners wanted the original clapboards put back on the house so that the exterior of the house maintained its look just like the interior maintained its look during this whole project. So what we're gonna do, we got some pressure treated two by fours. We're basically gonna build a doghouse shaped frame right here and attach it to the existing structure with structural screws. We'll cover that with some screen to keep out the bugs and our clabberds and our little venting method, which we're gonna show you, we're gonna put the clabberds back. So the idea is that if any equipment ever has to be changed in the future, somebody can get in the attic, come over here, remove the screws, and the whole assembly will come out onto a scaffolding or a lift, something like that. And we're even gonna put a sign in there saying, hey, this is removable. So the sun is going down fast. Let's take some measurements and get this thing framed in. Thirty-four to the short point. Thirty-six to the short point. Okay. Eleven and seven eighths long. That'll work. <laughs> Alrighty gang, we're making progress. I was up here calling out numbers to Jordan. He was tossing me the lumber and I rough fit it. Here's our initial doghouse section. Let's give it a try, see if it fits. And we got two more pieces left after this is installed.
All right, we're getting pumped up here. Framing is all done. As you can see, got a little doghouse shape there, a center partition here for a nailing surface for those clabbers. And we even thought about the next guy. It says this section removes for future access. 20 years from now, they come in here. How are we gonna get this AC out of here? I don't know, man. That gable would be the perfect way. I wish somebody would have, oh, look at that. There's a note 20 years ago. We should put C stud pack or something on there. We absolutely should. We will. Our next step, we're gonna put some window screen on here to keep the bugs out and we're ready for our clappers. Let's get going. Alright, the screen is up. That was really easy. We are finally working our way out of the attic. Now, if you remember from the original video, these clabbers were spaced with little spacer blocks. They were all split and trashed. I brought some treated lumber. We're going to go downstairs and make our own. So let's go get all our clabbers, those little blocks, our nail gun, come back up, put this thing together. So we need to know the dimension of that little spacer block. But like stud pack fashion, when we clean up, we cleaned up and they are all gone. But we have evidence on our old boards. You can see right there, there's the old block, about five inches long, three quarter inch square is what I'm saying. So let's just use our board and cut it all up in a bunch of little pieces. Let's head to the table saw. All right. got all our material up here all the clabbers are behind Jordan I actually put the first one up got my 15 gauge gun and I'm using some stainless steel nails that way we won't get any streaks from a rusty nail you ready bud let's do it let's finish it I'm trying to get my I know you trying to line it up yeah here, let me use this piece of wood and hold it here for you okay. I think that's good yeah I like it yeah see, now you can see evidence of a yep Exactly. Indeed. So you can go on the right side while I hold the left side up. I love it. Fool me once. <laughs> Alright, this is going very quickly. All I'm doing, gang, I'm lining up the clabbers over here on the left and the right where the old paint is, right? But you can see where the paint is? That's what I'm lining up against. So they're exactly where they were. We didn't change a thing. And the other thing you'll notice, when we first started shooting, these little blocks right here were straight up on that 2x4 right here on the left and the right. But now that we lost that, now I'm angling in as I go up. Just a few more and we'll be done. Last piece, this is the moment we always talk about, gang. And look at all this. Is it gonna fit? Man, like a glove. Woo! Like we were never here. Awesome job. And that looks fantastic. And you know what, right now, I'm having a little bit of a flashback. Flashbacks to... The very first time we were standing right here before we po punched through that wall. A little bit, it's like uh, closing, the, closing the book on a chapter. Yep, and on a big project. Yes, sir. Project well done. Yes, sir. Hey, what do you say we get the impact driver, crawl in the attic, and see if that thing really is removable? Well, that sounds like a lot of fun, actually. I would love to do that. But 
we don't have that much daylight left, as you can see, and uh, I think it would actually be really nice if we started taking the scaffolding down, man. I'm with you. It'd be great to get this top section down on the ground. Yep. And speaking of taking the scaffold down, Jordan and I want to give a big shout out to our friend Ramon, just over the corner over here. He's got a taco truck and he fed us throughout this whole project. Awesome food. But even maybe more important, he used to build scaffolding for 20 years just like this. And we talked to him one afternoon for quite a while. He gave us a bunch of tips and tricks, not only on how to build it, but also how to take it down. So we're gonna use some of those tips and tricks right now. Start taking this down. Keep us in your prayers. Here we go. And just in case anybody was wondering on how this plywood was able to cantilever out over the scaffolding, over this drop right here, we actually just ratchet strapped it. We fed it underneath the scaffolding and uh, it's pretty nice, pretty secure, uh, just in case anybody was wondering. Remember how hard it was to get that thing up there? Yeah, man. I pulled it up by myself and I can't tell you how happy I am to be throwing it down. Here we go, full send. Gotta give her a good push like I'm starting to bobsled. Here we go. Ooh. Sweet. All right, gang, so here's the plan. I'm gonna be up here and we are just going to feed dad the pieces down there one by one. So just like we built it, we're going to take this big old carabiner and we're going to hook it to these pieces. I'm going to lower it down. He's going to be down there receiving. And once there's almost all of the stuff around me that's down there, he's going to come back up on the ladder. He's going to get the blue strap. I'm going to take the yellow rope. We're going to stand on either side and uh, try and lower these platforms down a few levels together. That way we can just, and I, be, I just think that's how we're going to have to do it. Wow. Like right. <laughs> Oh, come to you? Okay. Two down. Right there? I like that. Okay. And now what? Hop down and undo them? Undo it. Okay. Can start moving boards. You want to hop down or? Yeah. Oh, you're already doing it. Okay. Oh, really? Okay. Wow. Okay, that wasn't too bad. No. Are we in throwing range? No. All right, no. Yeah, get the recharger one, shine it up here. Okay. All right. You got a what? Oh, snap. Gang, we don't do too many outros in the dark, but here we are working late. We got that top section of the scaffold down, but that's all we're gonna do today. We're gonna come back tomorrow fresh, take the next two sections down. This is gonna be real easy. 
And we're gonna sign off right now. And you know what you gotta do with that like button? You gotta make sure the next guy has access to it and can remove it if he has to, just like we did the Gable event. After you're sure of that, smash it for us, drop us a comment, drop us a tip, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you next time.